Hello and thank you for clicking on this video. Um, today's just going to be a short video. I want to talk about um, a collaboration book uh, came out a few years ago. Stephen King, Richard Kismar, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, Gwendy's Button Box. Uh, Gwendy's Button Box, uh, a novella um, by these two authors that came out in 2017. And um, one I'd never heard about, read about, anything like that, borrowed it from the library. And it's a really unusual book. And I'm hoping that people out there have clicked on this because they feel the same or they want a bit more explanation or they can offer a bit more explanation. Um, I think it's slightly hard to define. So I would sort of classify it as, as a sort of magic realism along those lines. Um, a really quite unusual book, one that's hard to sort of categorise in a neat sort of way. Uh, it takes place in the fictional town of Castle Rock in 1974. It says the small town has uh, witnessed some strange events and unusual visitors over the years, but there is one story that has never been told until now. There are three ways up to Castle View from the town of Castle Rock. Uh, Route 117, Pleasant Road and the Suicide Stairs. Every day in the summer of 74, 12-year-old Gwendy Peterson takes the stairs, which are held by strong, if time-rusted, iron bolts and zigzag up the cliffside. One day while Gwendy catches her breath and listens to the shouts of the kids on the playground and the clink of an aluminium bat hitting a baseball, a stranger calls out to her. On a bench in the shade sits a man in a small, neat black hat. He offers Gwendy a mahogany box with coloured buttons. The buttons will produce gifts such as chocolate, which can make you slimmer. But he warns her that the gifts will be small recompense for the responsibility. So we've got a strange man in a strange little, strange little hat. We've got Gwendy, a 12 year old, who's given a box that seemingly has these magical uh, qualities and gifts. And we've got this sense of huge responsibility with great power comes responsibility. So I was intrigued by that. I was intrigued by the stairs and this stranger and um, a young protagonist. I think that's what hooked me in. Um, we see Gwendy, we see Gwendy um, grow up. Each chapter kind of skips and we see how she's managing her life, her friendships, her relationships, her challenges and using or not using this box that can seemingly control events. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really quite a unique little novella and I think you know last year I was reading a lot of long books and this was there to kind of break up that cycle of, of long book long book so if you're looking for an unusual little novella I would I would recommend Gwendy's Button Box. Is it Stephen King's best work? No. Um, is it Richard Kismar's best? I have no idea I've never read him until now but I do like these novellas. I read Elevation and there's a couple of others I've sort of delved into as well I can't remember. Is it Four Seasons? Um, uh, a collection of short novellas by Stephen King. I think it's quite a nice little examination of the, or illustration of the the challenges children face, young people, school age. I mean, she's got this horrible nickname, Goodyear. She's, you know, not the slimmest child and she's, she's going into, I guess, high school, um, worried about this. And some of those anxieties and, and concerns and fears are quite real. And he's and again um, the the um, stranger I think his name's Richard Farris yeah Richard Farris um, very unusual and you know for example he, he wants her to yeah, her only job is to keep this box safe and and then she comes to sort of discover these magical properties and qualities that she's being given as a result of this box and there's the temptation there there's the fear the concern the weight of responsibility when you start to realise butterfly effect. The consequences of your actions even though small it's it's quite terrifying i think at one point it says the box doesn't just hold power it is power and i like i like the sort of cryptic nature the sort of riddler kind of nature to faris and i think the book is a bit of a riddle the book is a bit cryptic in its own way and then there's this you know so for example the black the black button can't be pushed under any circumstances um the red button's a wild card i believe anything could happen there, there are other buttons that are linked to entire continents, if I remember rightly. And so this power that she's wielding is is everything. And I think ultimately it just invites you to think, what would you do? It's one of those books where you suspend your disbelief a little bit, but you start to think, well, hang on, what if? What would I do? Um, her dreams are quite terrifying. I think there was times when I was expecting it to take more of a sort of chilling turn. Um, but yeah, I think it's enough to just be presented with this temptation. Um, it's that... It's that thing of, I guess it goes against human, some human nature, you know, this idea of using restraint and, and being cautious and yeah. So again, a, a novella, but one that's gonna, I think you'll get through it in an afternoon and I think it will um, create more questions than it answers. But I enjoyed having this book 
as part of my thinking at the end of last year it was a, a, a real unique interesting read all right thank you so much for checking this video i will see you soon guys take care